Assalamualaikum and good morning and good morning. Hello. This is Dr. Usmani Taswin again. Lecturing for product development course uh, title uh, concept selection at uh, chapter 6. So this week we are still again in the FOC lecture mode because we are in the lockdown period. So we have to follow through the direction and as far as the lecture I will go through the YouTube platform. So, in the textbook, in the chapter 6, it is highlighted um, a new product. Basically, a product that is related to health. They call it uh, Novo Nordis Syringe. So, this topic is very much close to Malaysian population because we have many major diseases among Malaysian population uh, like uh, the most serious one the first uh, top disease in Malaysia is basically corona sorry coronary uh, disease heart disease which is uh, this one and then among other six major type diseases uh, among Malaysian population is uh, diabetes. We also have like a uh, respiratory disease related to lung. And we also have uh, many patients related to kidney that requires dialysis, cancer and stroke. But relating to this chapter, we are dis discussing a device which is uh, related to diabetes. So, of course, we also feel sad that now coronavirus diseases has claimed as many as 15 deaths in Malaysia as of today and there are as many as 1,624 cases positive COVID-19 in the whole Malaysia. So let's focus on the diabetes disease and how it is related to this chapter. Now, you may know that as diabetic uh, patient, so you need to have a proper level of sugar in your blood and your body. And this sugar is being maintained in terms of uh, to be uh, in balance so that the patient got uh, energy. And uh, this uh, diabetic patient normally it requires insulin in order to maintain their good sugar level in their blood so that they has enough energy to do their activities. So here is the uh, diabetic syringe by Novo Nordisk that a normally a Malaysian diabetic patient is using. And normally diabetic patient they will be given the syringe uh, by the hospital. So they just need to pay a minimum fees for that. So this uh, Novo Nordisk syringe is uh, basically made by a Denmark company. So they also produce the artificial insulin for diabetic patient. So there are several related major problem regarding uh, this Novo Nordisk syringe. One problem or constraint is that its cost and uh, the accuracy of uh, dose metering in which the volume of the insulin need to be injected to the patient. So these are the two major challenges uh, in designing the uh, Novo Nordisk syringe pen. And uh, another requirement for this kind of product is uh, basically it is mostly for senior citizens. They are mostly uh, elderly people with a limited kind of uh, normally vision uh, and also uh, kind of sometimes uh, shaking hands, hands which is kind of uh, not stable. So the seven important criteria in uh, selecting the suitable concept to design this Novo Nordis syringe is it's got to be easy to handle, especially about the elderly, and uh, it must be rather relatively easy to use. Right? And one of the most important thing is the uh, readability of the dosage setting, which is easy to uh, being read. 
and the accuracy of the dosage uh, need to be injected. For example, they said at 10, so the quantum that is uh, being injected to the body of the patient should be 10 or at 8 or at 12. So there is a meter setting for this dose metering accuracy. It should be durable because, you know, the elderly, sometimes they drop it, sometimes they misplace it, sometimes they uh, kind of uh, uh, me, uh, cannot recall where they uh, do they put it. So somehow uh, the usage uh, is expected to be rough and it needs to be durable with a tough material. So as far as manufacturing, it should be a rather straightforward uh, manufacturing process. It should be to keep the cost low. And another last part is uh, this syringe got to be uh, highly portable because as elderly, sometimes you move from uh, one place to another place. So maybe uh, they, are, they have a high interest on traveling. So the syringe must be made also portable, easy to bring around. So, based on the concept selection uh, that we are discussing now, which is here, so uh, this is uh, the whole uh, product development process uh, from identifying customer needs, uh, setting the targets, and uh, generate the suitable concept, select the concept, so we are here. Upon that, then we need to do testing, uh, finalize the final specification, and then it could be mass production here. So these are the product concepts that uh, we are discussing at this stage for chapter 6. Well, this is the product outlook uh, design and this is how it looks like. Uh, so it looks uh, like a pen. It has a cap uh, here. This is a Novo Pen 4 and it has a dosage uh, setting uh, meter here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 until 12 or 15 maybe. So, and this is the symbol of the uh, producer. So this is the Novo syringe pen for diabetic patient. And this is the main featured product at, uh, in your textbook in chapter seven. So what are the concepts that being selected by Novo Nordis? Just now we have highlighted seven criteria for the uh, concept selection like this, ease of handling, ease of use, readability, dosage meter up to portability. So let's take a look on what is the concept chosen by Novo Nordisk Denmark. So by this product, by this kind of design, they achieve few criteria for a good design. Uh, for one thing is that press, uh, this product can be pressed uh, fully and there is a click sound if you have uh, press it full uh, you could also see how the Novo Nordisk syringe pen being used uh, by the uploaded uh, YouTube uh, video that I have parked it at Edmodo. There is a one video clip about Novo Nordisk uh, syringe pen. So you could set the dial number uh, for the insulin. For example, you set number at 8 or you set at number 12, just as like this. And the number is with the magnifying lens so that the number can be seen larger than it uh, is to be. So it is easier for the senior people to see this uh, larger number. And the design is just like a pen. And the uh, capsule which contains the insulin can be inserted into the pen. It is uh, always uh, replaceable. And normally in Malaysia, it uh, uh, costs around uh, 450 per piece if you buy it at a uh, hospital or pharmacy. And the chassis of the uh, pen uh, syringe is basically a type of strong plastic. So these are the six uh, concepts that has been selected by the Novo Nordisk syringe pen. So how is actually Novo Nordisk syringe uh, pen come up with this kind of product co uh, product concept? So in order to uh, generate uh, those kind of friendly concept, they have many ways uh, to uh, get the idea and to uh, get the best concept. For one thing, uh, they could be external decision. Uh, for example, they could uh, call external expert uh, 
uh, asking their opinion and the external expert could uh, give them suggestion how to best design this uh, Novo Nordisk pen. And uh, it normally this kind of product must be best selling, right? Product champion is uh, uh, as a best product in the market. And choosing the product could be uh, used uh, based on intuition, based on uh, feelings, based on what is uh, got to be done right. Or you could do some multi-voting uh, for best concept to produce. You could run a survey over the internet or over the customer or over the expert to choose the best uh, concept. You could consider the advantages and disadvantages of using uh, concept 1, concept 2, concept 3. And of course, you need to produce the prototype and test it. And what are the most important metrics uh, to be decided that the product must have? So these are several few methods in order to choose the best product concept. So in the book, it is highlighted seven product design concept for this kind of uh, syringe. Okay, this is concept A, B, C and D, and uh, the three design concept E, concept F, and concept G. So these are the uh, mechanism or the concept chosen how to uh, inject insulin into patient's body. Let's take a look for each design of the concept. Let's see for concept A. This is the concept number one. It is based on master cylinder. So here is the uh, plunger in which the patient can press it. And there is a, this is the master cylinder that controls the pressure to be inserted. And here is the insulin capsule and upon pressing right, the liquid will be injected to the patient. So this is the first concept. The second concept, concept B, which is a rubber brick uh, type of design. So here there is a plunger. Right? There is a rubber braking mechanism here to control the friction of the pressing. And uh, there is an insulin cartridge here for the liquid to be injected to, to the patient. So this is second concept. Concept C, the third concept, they call it a ratchet in which uh, the uh, plunger will be limited in terms of how much it can press and it is set by this uh, ratcheting mechanism. So if the ratchet is set of this length and the plunger will be pressed and up to that length uh, set by the limited uh, ratchet and there the insulin goes to the patient. So this is uh, concept number four. Uh, concept D is a plunge stopper. So there is a plunger here and there is a stopper here. So it is by simple press that when the plunge, uh, when the plunger plunge into this uh, stopper length, so the plunge will stop. So much so that much of insulin will be injected to the patient. So these are four first concept that has been discussed in the book. Let's take a look on the fifth concept. This is concept E by uh, Swash uh, Ring. It is basically uh, based on same plunger, but uh, there is a kind of uh, uh, ring here. Okay, there is a ring here to set the dosage. So the ring will, uh, the swash ring will limit the plunger how deep it can be uh, pressed in. So that that is the limit of the uh, liquid of insulin need to be injected to the patient. Okay, uh, this is. Uh, Concept number six, which is concept F, level set. So you set uh, the basically level here, all right? You set the dose uh, to uh, limit the dosage, and you press the plunger according to the set level distance. And last concept is called concept G. This is concept number seven. This is based on dial screw. Right, uh, this kind of design is uh, slightly bigger. So there is a screw here. It will rotate upon the plunger is being uh, pressed. Right, so there is a spring inside here. So they pressed it, and the plunge. Uh, then the screw will rotate and will press this kind of pusher inside, and it will inject in the liquid towards the patient. So overall, these are the seven concepts of a syringe design that is discussed in the book. So our task is now to uh, screen 
or to decide uh, the best plunger concept uh, that can be produced. So we have to score it and later we have to uh, rank it which uh, plunger concept is the best for production. So again, you have seen this kind of concept. It is a tournament uh, approach for selecting ideas and so on. So perhaps you have a problem here. You need to design the syringe uh, for your company. Uh, uh, for In this case, it is a, a syringe to inject insulin to patient. So you have many concepts, uh, approaches or method. Uh, in our case, uh, we uh, just now see seven concepts. Later, we will uh, score it. So by the scoring, we know what is the best uh, limited number that we could do. And then we will, uh, uh, after uh, scoring, we will uh, uh, screen it. Okay. And then uh, first, we need to... Uh, screen it and later we score it and at the end you may have the best three and later the only one design that you produce for mass production this is up to from concept generation to the concept testing now uh, the proposed structured method of selecting the best concept is uh, proposed by Steve Pugh they call it a Pugh uh, screening method for concept to uh, select the best method of uh, device to produce so it could be uh, based on uh, customer focused product or you could uh, proceed it through with uh, by having a competition the best design win and so on so you should uh, the concept should be very minimum taking minimum time to the market from the design uh, to the uh, sales so these are part of the structured concept in order to select the best uh, concept to produce. Pew uh, two-stage concept selection methodology. So he proposes the first a need to do the concept screening in which you will produce metrics like this based on um, zero, uh, plus one or minus one and then you uh, calculate what is the summation of the scores and that would be the best few method that uh, you could proceed for next concept scoring so concept scoring we will do something like this uh, we highlight what is the criteria and we put some weight and by then you uh, rank it uh, rank one rank two rank three and so on so these are the two uh, stage concept selection proposed by steve pew first well you need to screen it and then you run a uh, scoring the highest score which is rank number one is considered the best to be produced uh, for mass production. <coughs> Concept screening by Stuart Pugh was proposed in 1980s, right? So in uh, their journal, uh, in uh, published in 1990 by Stuart Pugh. So basically, it involved a six step. First, you need to prepare the selection metric, and uh, again, you need to rate the co uh, the concept uh, by having plus one, zero, or minus one uh, kind of uh, numerical uh, evaluation. And then you rank the concept. And then if you have the best uh, rank concept already, some of them you need to combine it. Or some of them may be staying as it is uh, uh, the firstly design. Or some of them uh, you need to have improve it. And almost at the last stage, you select one or more best concept to be considered for mass production. Then you do some kind of evaluation for the rest of the processes uh, that you have done. Okay, here is uh, the first step. First, you have prepared, you have to prepare the selection matrix. So, say you have uh, this uh, previously discussed seven concepts or the seven approaches of uh, designing the syringe. First, A is uh, based on master cylinder. B, concept B is based on rubber brake. Concept C based on ratchet and concept D based uh, on plunge stopper. Uh, then uh, concept number five, E uh, based on wash, swash ring. Uh, okay, concept F, number six is a lever set. And the last one, concept G, number seven is dial screw. 
So from all this uh, concept, you must uh, set one as a uh, master reference. In this case, uh, normally the first column as a master reference. So if you compare syringe based on rubber brake concept or ratchet concept, you must compare with this master cylinder uh, as a uh, master reference. So you set the criteria that uh, we have discussed earlier is of handling <coughs> up to portability that has been highlighted earlier. And then uh, when you evaluate B, rubber brake in terms of ease of use, you must compare with the master cylinder. So if it is the same as good as master cylinder as far as ease of handling for concept B, then you set as zero. <coughs> and you have to compare also uh, a pro a concept C, which is ratchet. For example, uh, readability of setting. So if you evaluate that the ratchet readability of setting is better than the master cylinder approach, so you put as plus. So it is a matter of zero, plus or minus. So all these will be evaluated based on your perception and each of these will be compared with master cylinder as a reference point. Okay, after you uh, make the evaluation based on zero, plus or minus on all these seven concepts, then you have to sum it up all the plus here. Like two, how many pluses? Two pluses. Like here, how many plus uh, or, uh, at rubber rubber bracket? Plus is one. And here, plus is two, which is this and this. And for uh, uh, level set, number of plus is one, uh, one and two, and the rest. So here also, you take a look on the how many zeros. For example, at rubber brake, there are four zeros, that is, uh, which is four. And how many negatives uh, or minus that they have at each concept. For example, uh, level set, they have one, two. Two negative, which is some negative equal to two. So after you evaluate based on plus, zero, and minus, you have to uh, total up the net score. For example, here at master cylinder, so you have uh, two pluses and uh, you have uh, zero minus, then two minus zero means plus two. And num some uh, zeros are normally not counted. So this row is uh, this row for some zero is normally not uh, counted and uh, in the calculation. For example, uh, concept B, rubber brake. So they have uh, uh, one plus, they have a two minus, mean one uh, minus uh, two, which is minus one. So, and the rest of this score two, right? So after having the total net score for each concept, then you have to rank it. Uh, based on this score. These are the score like 0, 0, 1, 0, minus 2, minus 1, and 2. So you have to rank it based on the value of net score. For example, 2, which is a plus 2, is rank number 1 because it has a uh, positive 2. Okay, and then rank number 2, uh, which is after 2 is 1, and this is rank number 2, and then this uh, the rest is one, 0 and 0, Right, all this uh, number three, right? So and the rest as per ranking, uh, you evaluate based on the net score. So from here, normally, you could make some decision whether to choose which uh, concept is the highest score. For example, this two is the highest score. So to continue production or to co continue with the next stage is yes. And this is another one which is swash ring. Uh, yes, proceed. Perhaps there are some combination need to be done, which is concept D and concept F. Based on the evaluation, they need to be combined, merged to become one. And uh, concept uh, G, dial screw, need to be revised. So here is the decision that you want to proceed with the next stage uh, of ranking the concept for scoring. Okay, basically, in the next stage, we consider only uh, concept A, concept D and F combined, concept E and concept G. So from 7, you may have already uh, only 4 concepts being selected to the next stage for concept scoring, which is this, uh, this is 1, 2, and then this is the third concept, combined and false, which is A, E, 
D and F and G. So now from 7, it has become to 4 concepts only to be, to proceed to the next stage. Okay, in step 1 also, we have to prepare the selection for uh, the selection of metrics. So as far as ease of use, you could break down in what uh, way ease of use can be uh, understood or can be evaluated. First, for example, ease of injection, uh, ease of cleaning and ease of loading. So this is another breaking down of the parameter ease of use or criteria ease of use can be seen from injection, cleaning and loading. So the rest of the other criteria also can be broken down to uh, so that we can look for each sub-element uh, to evaluate this uh, criteria that uh, we are making decision on. So as we said earlier, there are only four concepts that is a proceeding through uh, after you screen it. Now you are doing the scoring. Combine and improve the concept. As I said earlier, concept D and F, we need to combine the lever. Right, so now the design is became, becoming something like this. So uh, there is a lever to set the, the volume of insulin uh, need uh, to be injected. And there is a trigger here. Right, so you can uh, press it in. So there is a piston here to control the pressure. So this is the combined design between concept F and concept D. Where else on concept G plus, uh, the basic concept is G, but they improve it. So they improve it uh, to become, there is a kind of uh, power uh, release, like a set meter here. And that set meter is related to this uh, gear shaft. And when you press it, the gear shaft is moving and that will push the insulin, uh, this uh, chamber inside and then the insulin will go to the patient. So at concept scoring, uh, the next stage of uh, determining the best or the highest score for the four chosen concept, first you have to prepare the selection metric, rate the four concepts, rank the concept, those combined and improved concepts uh, need to be considered. You could only select one or two con best concepts to proceed for mass production. This is the level of concept scoring. So here uh, it shows how the concept uh, scoring metric works. So first, uh, we uh, we have to we have agreed that four concepts pass through after the um, uh, screening uh, level, which is A as a master reference, is master cylinder concept, which is combined concept D and F, concept E swash ring, and the improved concept G plus. So by having these four, we have, to the, we have to choose the best one. Here is the same selection criteria that we have uh, been discussing before. And out, out, of, out of these seven criteria, we have to put the weightage, which is how important is the criteria. Out of 100%, you uh, have to assign certain weight here. For example, the most important criteria for this range is dosage meter accuracy. Of course, this is very important you have to inject in only a suitable amount of insulin into your body or else it is going to uh, it, it going to uh, be danger for the patient so second most important uh, selection criteria is ease of manufacturing and then ease of use and so on so all this must total up 100% in evaluating the seven selected criteria and next when we take a look at Concept A for based on master cylinder, we have to put the rating uh, for uh, the each criteria, uh, which is this is the weightage and this is the rating. So if the rate is higher, it is more important. Uh, perhaps it is from one uh, to five, right? So there is a rating like uh, five here, four, three, and so on. So. Next, how to uh, do the scoring concept is first, you have to multiply the rating against the weight. For example, 3 multiplied by 5%, you have 0 0.15. And then you have uh, 2 here, multiplied by 10%, you have 0 0.2. Right? And you have 3 here as the last one, 3 multiplied by 10%, you have 0 0.3. So as such, 
all the weighted score will be summed up all this now totaling up to 2.75 right this is a total score number and the same you do for a combined concept concept d and concept f so how to get the weighted score is actually this rating 3 multiplied by 5 you have 0 0.15 and so on so the to total score for concept df is 3.45 and the same as this after you multiply 4 by 5% then you have 0 0.2 you sum up all the score you have 3.10 and same equal as this 4 you multiply by 5 you have 0 0.2 and you wait, uh, calculate the weighted score for all of those uh, belonging to Z, uh, G plus you have 3.05 so now here from the total uh, 4 scores you have the highest score which is 3.45 belonging to combined concept D and F as a level stop a level stop concept so because this is the highest rank in comparison to the rest based on the total score so this product concept will be chosen for mass production which is to develop the rest is actually just for perhaps keep in view or for future reference so now the chosen concept is level stopper concept based on combination of concept D and concept F so that is how we choose the best concept of uh, pro uh, product to be produced okay I think uh, that would be all for the chapter on uh, concept uh, selection Okay, of uh, chapter 6 so thank you class for listening to my explanation and lecture so you all dismiss and thank you again